And now we move to our next speaker. Um, we have Abdelrahman Nitaj from the University of Khan Normandy. Uh, Abdelrahman's talk will be on a new RSA variant based on ephemeral elliptic curves over the ring Z equal NZ. Um, Abdelrahman, uh, please go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Hello, everyone. Hello, Abu Zabi. Um, this is a joint work with Hamad Al Shehi from Digital 14 in um, the United Arab Emirates. Today, I will be talking about a new variant of uh, the RSA system. And this variant is based on uh, some elliptic curve over the, the finite ring Z over NZ. So, this will be work. I will recall the importance of uh, the RSA curve system and uh, the elliptic curve cryptography. Then I will present our new scheme and uh, I will talk about security analysis of the new scheme and I will finish with the short conclusion. The RSA crypto system was invented in 1978 by Rivas, Shamir and Eilman and uh, it is uh, the most widely used asymmetric crypto system and uh, it has many applications in cryptography for encryption and for digital signatures. Unfortunately, um, it isn't a post quantum because it, it isn't going to raise it to quantum computers. Elliptic curve cryptography was uh, independently invented by Koblitz and Miller in 19. 85. Um, it has uh, many characteristics, uh, such as short keys compared to RSA. Um, it can be used to encryption, for example, um, the elliptic curve uh, Al Kamal. Um, it can be used for digital signatures, for example, the elliptic curve digital signature algorithm. It can be used for um, key exchange, for example, uh, the elliptic curve Diffie and uh, now it's uh, mainly used for blockchain and cryptocurrencies uh, such as uh, bitcoins. So there are many variants of uh, the RSA crypto system. Uh, some are based on uh, elliptic curves. For example, KMOV. KMOV is a crypto system that is based on elliptic curves. It was invented by Koyama, Moore, Okamoto, and Vanston in 1991. Uh, it is based on a kind of uh, elliptic curves, mainly, mainly the elliptic curves with the uh, short equation, mod n, and is um, RSA modulus, which is the product of two primes, prime p and the prime q, with a certain property. And uh, among the properties of such elliptic curves, is that um, the number of points um, modulo p is uh, equal to p plus one. So this is very easy to compute. And also uh, the number of points modulo q is uh, equal to q plus one. Also it's very easy to, to compute. So here in this equation, in the equation of the elliptic curve, the parameter b is um, uh, dependent of the plain text and the encrypted text and the hard problem behind uh, key move is the factorization problem factorization uh, that that means given um, rsa modulus and uh, as the product of two large primes p and q the problem is to find p and q so uh, there is no way to find uh, p and q when uh, they are uh, very large uh, prime numbers Another variant of the of the RSA crypto system based on elliptic curves is uh, called the Mitko, and it was um, invented by the Mitko in uh, 1993. Uh, it is based on uh, general um, elliptic curves with the complete equation mod n. Here also n is the is an RSA modulus, which is the product of two large primes p and q. And among the properties of uh, this uh, elliptic curve is that the number of points modulo p is p 
plus one minus TP, and the number of points modulo Q is Q plus one minus TQ. Here, the, very difficult to find the value of TP and the value of TQ in general. So uh, also the parameters E and B are fixed in this uh, uh, scheme. And the hard problem behind this uh, crypto system is the factorization uh, problem. Um, the same uh, as in uh, the came off. Now I will present the, the new uh, scheme. So uh, the first algorithm is the key generation uh, algorithm. Uh, we need uh, to we need to get two uh, two numbers. One number is n, and one number is is e. So we need to generate two numbers, and uh, those numbers will be the, the key. And also we need to generate uh, several uh, other numbers, and that numbers will be the private key. So the first step is to choose two large integers, u1 and b1, and to compute uh, up uh, four times u1 plus three, and vp uh, is equal to four uh, times v1 plus two. And then to compute p as the square of um, the sum of uh, up squared plus vp squared. So if p is not a prime number, then uh, we should return to step one in order to get a prime number at, uh, at the end. And uh, we can do the same thing to, to get another number, another prime number q, by choosing two large integers u2 and v2, and to compute uh, uq as uh, four times u2 plus three and vq, uh, equals to four times v2 plus two. And then we can compute q as the sum of the squares, uq uh, squared plus vq uh, squared. And similarly, if q is not prime, then we return to step uh, number five. So at the end, we have two large numbers, uh, two large prime numbers, prime number p and prime number q. And then we can uh, make the product of P and Q to get the, the modulus. So this is uh, the same modulus as in the RSA crypto system. And then we can choose um, an integer E such that E is um, co-prime to um, this product. And uh, the pair and E uh, will uh, represent the public key and uh, the, the numbers UP, VP, uq and vq uh, will represent the, the private key so this is the key generation uh, algorithm and the uh, the encryption algorithm uh, looks like this first uh, we generate a random integer r mod n and is the, the rsa modulus and uh, we represent the message as m as a point uh, with two numbers r and ym. So the number r is the random, the random integer, and ym will represent the message. Uh, this uh, will be uh, taken mod n, and uh, we compute uh, this value of a in order uh, to make it uh, to, to build an uh, elliptic curve. So a is uh, computed mod n, and the elliptic curve uh, will be represented by this equation. The equation is y squared equals x to 3 plus i x mod n. Then uh, to encrypt uh, the message m, we multiply the message m by, by e, and we, uh, we have uh, another point on the elliptic curve, and this point is x c uh, y c. So the point x c y c is the encrypted message and can be sent to the receiver. Uh, we have two uh, many, mainly an observation here. Uh, first, that the encryption algorithm is different from MOV and from uh, the MITCOS uh, algorithms. And also, uh, if the same message is re um, then the elliptic curve is different. And we can see this because uh, in the first step, uh, we have to generate a random integer error. And uh, this uh, random integer is used 
uh, in the computation to get the, the encrypted message. For the decryption, um, it looks like this. Um, first, we compute a certain value uh, A by using uh, the value of uh, the encrypted uh, message XC, YC, and we compute this value uh, mod N. And the elliptic curve uh, EN will be uh, the elliptic curve with the equation Y squared equals X to 3 plus IX mod N. Then uh, we can uh, we can compute uh, two values. One value is UP, and one uh, the other one is UQ. So the the value UP is uh, like this. So um, it could it could be uh, minus UP or UP or VP or minus VP, dependent on uh, uh, some uh, com competition here. It depends on uh, A to P minus one over four. It depends if it's one mod P or minus one or uh, other things. So we can uh, compute UP and UQ, and then we can compute a certain uh, product, uh, as you can see here, and um, this will be used for um, to get the, the inverse of E mod uh, this this, um, this uh, term, and um, to get the, the original message, we can uh, just multiply the X C Y C. This is the the encrypted message with D, and D is the private key, in order to get the original message as uh, the point R. Why am um, the computations is is done on the elliptic curve with the, the the equation? So there are many properties for um, the elliptic curve and for uh, the modulus. First, uh, the the modulus is n um, is the form p times q. Here, uh, p is the sum of two squares. And Q is also a sum of two squares. Uh, mainly uh, UP and UQ are uh, equivalent to three mod four, and VP and VQ are equivalent to two mod four. And the elliptic curve uh, in all cases uh, have the same uh, shape. It, um, it has the short equation. And uh, what is particular, what uh, kind of properties we can find here in this system is that the number of points uh, mod, mod p is equal to p plus one minus two uh, times up and the number of points on the elliptic curve mod q is equal to q plus one minus two uh, times uq here up and uq can be computed by uh, one of this uh, formula and another property is that uh, for any point on the elliptic curve mod n, then if we multiply it by this product, then uh, we can get um, zero, zero uh, of the elliptic curve. That means the point at, at infinity of the elliptic curve. So this is very important property and uh, it's used to in the decryption uh, algorithm. So now I will uh, say some words about the security analysis of the new scheme. Uh, our uh, new scheme is uh, resistant uh, against uh, factorization methods. Um, for example, it's uh, still uh, resistant against the number field sieve and the elliptic curve method that are uh, methods for uh, factorization. But um, our uh, modulus is not a same modulus, which is the product of two large primes. So it's very hard to, it's very difficult to factor uh, such a modulus. Also, our new scheme is resistant against um, decomposition uh, as sum of two squares. We know that if um, uh, n is the product of two primes, and each prime is the sum of two squares, then one can get um, a system of equation for n, then we can uh, com decompose n as uh, the sum of two squares uh, in two ways. The first way, um, 
is here and the, the, the other way is, is like this. But the hard problem is to do the converse. So uh, the hard problem is uh, to solve the system uh, by decomposing n as the sum of two squares in two ways. So uh, because this is very hard, so um, our scheme is resistant against decomposition as sum of two squares. Also, our scheme is resistant uh, against decomposition of uh, as sum of four squares, because we know that um, if n is the product of two large primes, p and q, uh, then one can get to decomposition of n as the sum of uh, four squares, and um, the, the hard problem is to do the converse. Uh, mainly, uh, if uh, we have a certain number n, it's very hard to find uh, uh, four uh, four values uh, x1, x2, x3, and x4 such that n is the sum of the squares of uh, such numbers. So for this reason, our algorithm is uh, also resistant against uh, against the decomposition as sum of uh, four squares. On the other hand, our scheme is also uh, resistant against uh, algebraic attacks. Uh, the first attack uh, concerns the, the order of the elliptic curve. So um, if we suppose that uh, the, the order of the elliptic curve mod n is known, uh, uh, for example, in, in K-move, um, the order of the elliptic curve mod n is simply the product uh, uh, of p plus 1 times q plus 1. So if we know the, the order um, en uh, of the elliptic curve, so we can find p and q easily. But in our scheme, it is very hard to factor uh, because uh, in our scheme, the, the number of uh, the cardinality of the number of points mod n is uh, uh, p plus 1 minus 2 times up times q plus 1 minus 2 times uq. Uh, this is very hard to, to factor because it's a large number and uh, there is no way to find the value of p and q. While in K-move, uh, it's easy to find the value of P and Q if we know the value of uh, the order of uh, E N uh, A. Our, uh, ski, our scheme is resistant against small private exponents, attack by continued fractions, because we one can find the private key D in polynomial time. Uh, for example, for RSA. Uh, one can find uh, the, the private key d if d is uh, smaller than this uh, value. Uh, mainly, uh, d is uh, smaller than n to 1 over 4. This is a result of Wiener in 1990. In our scheme, the bond uh, is uh, different. The bond is uh, much smaller because the bond is uh, roughly uh, equal to n to the 1 over 8. So the, uh, in our bound, this is uh, in our bound. It's uh, the square root of um, the bound in uh, in the R in RSA. Also, uh, our scheme is resistant against small private exponents as by lattice reduction. Uh, we know that uh, in uh, by lattice reduction, one can find the value of d. D is the secret uh, exponent uh, in polynomial time. Uh, for example, for RSA one can find the value of d if d is uh, smaller than n 20292 and this is a result of Bonnet and of Durfee in 1998 but in our scheme the bond is much smaller uh, in our scheme the bond is uh, less than n to uh, 0.133 so we can see here that our scheme uh, can uh, present uh, smaller uh, smaller private keys without any problem for its uh, security. At uh, conclusion, we have proposed a new RST variant based on uh, elliptic curves, and uh, such elliptic curves are ephemeral and uh, they are uh, defined over the ring, the finite ring Z over N Z. And uh, the modulus is the product of two large primes, 
uh, h prime is the sum of two squares. And this is a uh, strong against factorization uh, um, methods. And the, the new scheme is resistant against uh, other algebraic attacks. Also, the new scheme can be used with the short private keys. Um, also, the new scheme is probabilistic encryption because uh, where we encrypt uh, the same message twice, this will produce two undistinguishable uh, cipher text. And uh, finally, uh, our, our scheme can be considered as an alternative to RSA or IEP because uh, uh, we don't need uh, a hash function in RSA or IEP. We need a hash function, but here in our scheme, we don't we don't need any uh, hash function. So this is uh, my talk. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Washokran Jazila. Thank you, um, Abdel Rahman. Um, we have a few minutes for questions. If uh, anyone from the audience has questions. Yes, uh, there's a question from uh, Victor Abdel Rahman. The question is, do you have numbers about how does it compare with other EC based encryption schemes? How do you map the message to transform them into a point on the curve? Yes, um, in an elliptical with the fixed parameters. We can uh, we need an algorithm in order to 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 put the message in this elliptic curve, but here in our scheme uh, we can get an elliptic curve by using our message. So we we do not need any algorithm uh, in order to make a message uh, in in the elliptic curve. So uh, the parameters in our scheme, the parameters of the elliptic curve, are um, are uh, generically uh, uh, computed using uh, only uh, the message, so we don't need any any method in uh, in order to make uh, to to put the, the message in this elliptic curve. Thank you, Abdel Rahman. Um, uh, a continuation of the question from Victor is: and computationally speaking, are there curves offering better performance than others, resulting from different messages? Okay, I will show you uh, where. So in this slide, uh, we can see that um, the LT curve has uh, such kind of uh, equation, y squared equals uh, x to 3 plus ax mod n. So the value of a is uh, completely defined by um, the, the plain text, by the message m, in which the, the components are r, it's a random integer, and ym. And uh, the LT curve that is, uh, uh, produced here uh, does not depend on, on anything than the, the original message uh, M. So uh, we, we can't uh, see that uh, there are uh, some um, elliptic curves that are weak or, or not because all the elliptic curves have the same, the same shape and uh, in, all the, in all cases um, the, uh, these elliptic curves uh, are strong uh, against uh, factorization method, for example, or a discrete log, uh, uh, logarithm problem uh, attacks. So uh, all the elliptic curves are uh, have the same um, the same uh, um, cryptanalysis and the same uh, level of cryptanalysis, and th there are no uh, weak uh, elliptic curves in in this uh, situation. Thank you. Uh, one more question from uh, Professor Abe is, uh, in terms of post-quantum, is there any improvement with respect to existing elliptic curves, crypto? No. Um, uh, short, short algorithm will um, destroy anything uh, in, uh, in, 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 in factorization and in discrete logarithm. And uh, for example, RSA will be dead. And uh, much of the schemes that are based on elliptic curves will be dead. Uh, the only thing that is resistant for the moment uh, in elliptic curves are uh, schemes that are based on uh, isogenies. So everything uh, based on isogeny is, is, is OK for post-quantum uh, and, and quantum computers. But uh, classical uh, cryptography based on elliptic curves uh, will be destroyed by source algorithm. Great. Thank you, Abdul Rahman. Um, uh, we have one more um, 
We have one more question from M. Devika. Uh, the message is encrypted twice. Please explain the decryption process. Okay. So uh, in this uh, slide, you can see uh, how to encrypt. Uh, in the, uh, you, you generate a random number R and you complete, um, you complete uh, a point by YM. So YM is uh, mainly the, the original message. Uh, now you, the value of A, you can compute it with this, uh, this uh, equation. And uh, the, the value of uh, the, the encrypted message is uh, to multiply the plain text, the point M by, uh, by E. E is the, the public um, exponent. And if you uh, re-encrypt re the same message, uh, uh, you are going to, 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 to generate another random number R, and uh, this, uh, number, this new number R uh, will produce a new message. Uh, and um, the, the common point between the two messages is that um, they have the, the second term, YM is similar, but uh, in the first message R is different from the second message. And uh, it, as a consequence, the value of A in the first uh, uh, computation is different from the second A in the next uh, computation. So uh, if we encrypt uh, same message twice, we have two different elliptic curves. And the, the decryption will give uh, all time the, the, the correct message but using uh, two different uh, elliptic curves. Okay, thank you. So I think this is it in terms of question. Thank you very much. Uh, we give you a virtual round of applause. Uh, thanks, Abdelrahman. Thank you very much.